What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have Ipsy Glam Bag Plus versus BoxyCharm Boxy Lux. That's what it's called. <laughs> um, I feel like when Boxy sends out the Boxy Lux, it's not an even representation of them both because this one's 50 bucks and the Ipsy is like, what's it, like 23, 25 almost. Um, but I just prefer to put them together. Uh, and yeah, I think we'll do Ipsy first and then I'll put like a timestamp somewhere of when BoxyCharm Lux is just in case you only want to see the BoxyCharm one. So this is for the month of June. Ooh, they have a yellow foamy guy this time. So it says, welcome to the block party. I think I saw that they did like a collab with Tetris. And that, yep, that's supposed to be like the main thing in the box this month. There it is, a little palette. That's just the sleeve and then there's the actual palette with the colors on the inside. Ooh. So it looks like we got two, I guess that's kind of a neutral, two neutral colors here, plus three pops of color, or technically four. Those are all um, metallics, and then there's two matte neutral colors. I think I might put this in my giveaway pile. It is very pretty, and I do want to see the swatches, especially this color here, but the rest is just not really calling my name, I guess. But this packaging is freaking adorable. I love that. The next thing I grabbed is... Oh, is this glass? Dang. It's by Sunday Riley. It is the CEO Vitamin C Rich Hydration Cream. It's a pretty big size jar. I'm pretty sure everything... They always do full sized, right? I'm pretty sure. I know it's been a hot minute since I've done this. Oh, you might hear the baby start waking up. Mm, that smells like citrus. There's the cream right there. It feels like it's a a thicker cream. Oh, did I fuck this up? So it's just a moisturizer with 5% vitamin C in it. I think usually it, tries, it helps to brighten your skin a little bit. The next thing I grabbed in here is by Pure Cosmetics. It is their Big Look Mascara. It says it has argan oil in there. Let's see if there's actually a big wand. I feel like a lot of mascaras say that they'll give you big lashes but then they don't have a big wand. I don't know why. Every time there's a big wand it helps my lashes look more full. Oh, the baby's totally waking up. Uh. Alright, I've got baby in the lap. You're gonna hear him snoring down here. Um, I don't like this little spoolie here. It feels like one of those plasticky ones that kind of hurt, like when you get close to your the bottom of your lashes. Um, I don't know. And I feel like the stopper isn't working very well because there's a lot of um, buildup on the bottom here. But I will still try it out. The next thing I grabbed is looks like a trio of lipsticks. It is by, I think it's Jolie. Jolly or Jolie? Uh, it says Luxe Cream Mattes. Um, the colors in here are Amour, Lila or Lila, and Scuro. Um, I would swatch them, but I'm holding the baby in this arm. It's not very <laughs> easy to swatch them right now. But there are the colors. The last thing I peeked already. It seems to be a two for one kind of thing. Um, it is Suva Beauty. We got a Hydra liner. It is the black one. It's a cake liner. And then they also gave us um, a brush from them. It says it's 620. And there's a tiny little liner brush there. I did really actually want to try these because I heard. Yeah, it says opaque, fast drying, smudge proof, and transfer resistant. Um, I don't typically have 
oily eyelids. But I do find that when I wear eyeliner now that sometimes it goes up on the top of my lid here and then right here like my eyes get watery and it just by the end of the day I don't have liner there. So I did want to try this out. I'm excited to try this. But yeah I'm pretty sure you activate it with water. It's just like this little it's this little pot right here. Um, and I have seen that they have really cool colors and they have these bright neon colors too. Yeah, activate using a wet makeup brush, create the perfect winged liner, remove using warm water and or makeup remover. So I'm pretty excited for that one. Hopefully that works for my wavy eyes. <laughs> um, I do want to go over the prices real quick on the pamphlet. So first it is, so those Jolie Cosmetics uh, Matte Cream Lipstick Trio. Ooh, those value, the value for that is $54. I feel like that's really high. Well, I guess three lipsticks. Um, sorry, I got the Nini. The Sunday Riley Moisturizer was $65. I don't know if we we're supposed to get a little uh, scoopy here, but it shows a little scoop. The Suva Beauty Liner and Brush Set for both is $26. The uh, Tetris by Ipsy shadow palette was 24 and then the pure mascara is 21. So that comes out to $190 uh, value. And like I said, I'm pretty sure pretty sure this is $21 and then they add like shipping or tax or whatever it is. It comes out to slightly more than 21, like almost 25. So that is it for Ipsy Plus. Oh my god. I'm scared of dropping this on the baby. So now I want to jump into Boxy Lux for June. So right on top they have the pamphlet. It is crinkled. There it is. And then all of the items and the prices are on the back. So the first thing I grabbed is by Living Proof. Ooh, it's a, it says dry volume blast. So I don't know if it's a dry shampoo, styling and finishing spray. So I think it's, um, it's supposed to give you like texture. Like you know when you just wash your hair and it's too clean you kind of just spray this kind of thing in there and it helps to grit it up and give you volume. Uh, I, th I was excited. I thought it was a dry shampoo. I don't think it actually is. I'm pretty sure you can hear my cat eating in the background. I'm sorry. The next thing I grabbed is by Tristique, I think it is. What is this? Look at this thing. It's a big old fatty. Down the curl. Is this an eyelash curler? What the hell? Alright, it says Good Vibes Mascara, but then on here it also says Flip Down to Curl. So, oh, crazy. Okay, so it is a mascara, but there's also a little eyelash curler here. You flip this little thing down here, and then you push down, and it curls your lashes. It is a smaller one, so I'm assuming you have to do like half and half. Do you know what I mean? But that's pretty... That's pretty handy dandy, man. Let's see what the mascara wand looks like. Mm. The mascara wand is a little lacking for me. Put it on my forehead, there you go. Nope. But it's not terrible. I've actually never tried any of their mascaras. I think we've gotten them a few times where we get like the little eyeshadow primer sticks, but I haven't really tried anything else from them. The next thing is in this little silky bag here. Oh, I see. It says PYT. So it's a hair tool. <gasps> oh my god. It's a little mini. Ugh. I'm dropping everything. It's this cute ass mini blow dryer. Look at this thing. And then I think there's two heads in here. Yep. There's a diffuser and a little directional head in there. Uh, that's adorable. <laughs> I don't know if I would use this at home, but I feel like it is really good for travel and I'm about to go camping in a week and a half, so I will bring this little baby. Next is, what is this? Skin & Co. Truffle Therapy. What is this? Illuminating Skin Refresh Mist. Radiant Dew. There's so many words on this bottle. 
<laughs> it says it's a mist formulated to soothe, protect, and illuminate the skin. Enhanced with antioxidant rich, soothing, and detoxifying botanical extracts of black winter truffle, rosemary, ginger, peppermint, and damascena rose. This refreshing mist increases radiance while rebalancing skin's pH level, tightening pores, and setting makeup. So, they could have just said it was a setting spray on here. <laughs> Sorry, I zoomed in. But I guess they just wanted to be fancy. I don't know. I've never tried anything from them. Let's spray it this way. I can't... I can't smell anything, and I also can't spray this way because of the baby, so I'm not sure if there's no scent or if I'm just not smelling it. But I actually just ran out of setting spray, so I'm excited. The ne oh yes, the next thing I grabbed is from Pharmacy. I freaking love this brand. I think the first item I've ever tried from them was from Boxylux and I've been hooked ever since. It is, it says Honeymoon Glow. It's an AHA ref resurfacing night serum. Ooh, it's a little glass bottle. Here is the packaging. Um, everything that I've used with them has made my skin feel so soft. Um, I have not tried this one, so I'm not sure how it'll be, but I'm sure it's freaking amazing. It is a night serum, so you put it on before bed. I feel like it's pretty simple. <laughs> the next thing is... What does it say? Oh, DC Cosmetics, so Dominique Cosmetics. It is a... I don't know. I'm assuming it's a lip gloss or a lipstick. Let's see what this baby is. <gasps> oh, it's so cute. Here is that cute ass packaging. I really want to see what it looks like, but like I said, it's pretty hard to swatch with. Oh my god. God, that smells good. Alright, let's see if I can get a swatch. Definitely lip gloss. And I don't know if I said the name already. Peach tea. There is the gloss. Just a little peachy gloss. Super cute. Smells freaking amazing. The next thing I grabbed is Dr. Brandt, a clean biotic <clears throat> pH balanced yogurt cleanser with chlorophyll. Chlorophyll? Isn't that the stuff that people put on rags in movies and then put it over someone's mouth and they knock out? Am I wrong? Is this supposed to make you tired? Hmm. I'm gonna do my research on this. <laughs> but there's there's the bottle. Mine's a little beat up. There's like black markings on there. Guys, tell me. Doesn't that say chlorophyll? And isn't that what they use in the movies to make people pass out? The next thing I grabbed is Touch and Soul No Problem Prime Essence. I have been seeing this Calendula floral extract everywhere. That's what's in there. You know, we got a primer from Boxylux from the same company a while ago. I lost it, so I never even got to try it. My lid's a little loose, but there is the little tube. I like that this packaging has this little squeezy tube here. I hope I don't lose this one so I can try it. Alright, the last thing in here, we're almost done, bud. we're almost done, is from Tarte. It is the Tartist Pro Glow 3 palette. There it is. I could be wrong, but I swore we got, we got one of these before. <laughs> Poxy Charm, I swear. And I put it in a giveaway, so maybe this time I'll keep this one. Oh, it was a little busted. So it looks like there's two blushes, two highlights, and two contours or bronzers. I see, like, I want to try this out, but... Oh, in the camera it doesn't look so bad. In person, they look... 
really dark for me. Especially the highlights. Those look way too dark for me. Mm, I guess we'll see. I do like the packaging though. It's really like suede feeling. So the the Tarte palette was 45. The Touch and Soul Prime Essence was 23. The Dominique Cosmetics lip gloss was 17. Um, the PYT Mini Dryer was 85. Holy cow. Um, the Dr. Brandt Cleanser was 35. The Pharmacy Night Serum, 58. The Living Proof um, Volume Spray was 29. Trestique Mascara is 25. And the Skin & Co. Dew Mist was 35. That came out to $352. <laughs> I do love getting these boxes, but I feel like I'm running out of room <laughs> to put all this stuff. Like, where do you guys put all this makeup? What do you do with it all? I don't know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> yeah, I need some serious, like, makeup storage tips. I'm, I'm losing control, man. But if you could, hit the like button, subscribe if you're not, and I will see you next month for Boxy vs. Ipsy. Bye!